Hi, it's Luke from Performance Auto Electrical. Uh, we're here today um, doing some more uh, installations on Simon's van. So today we're actually going to do a, a diesel heater. Um, he's getting a bit uh, cold uh, now. It's uh, getting cold here and um, yeah, we're going to add a diesel heater to his van, another upgrade. So we're going to fit a five kilowatt um, diesel heater. So this particular one, we fit all different types, um, kilowatts, brands, um, but for Simon's we're doing the five kilowatt um, is, and it's the performance Chinese one. So we uh, change a lot of the components out um, on it. So we use the um, Australian hose clamps and hoses and, and different types of fittings um, that can let the, the cheaper ones down. So we actually change all that sort of stuff out. Um, we add a, a few other things to make the installation a lot better, a safer uh, in installation. So first of all, um, we've got to put the unit together itself. So it's just a matter of putting a few bits and pieces on the actual unit when it comes. Um, and then uh, now what we'll do is actually nut out where we're going to put the tank, what size tank, um, where the unit itself is going to go, where the control panel is going to go. So that's what we'll start doing now, having a look at his van. Um, most of the time we get a wish from the customer where they actually want it, um, but you know it depends on where chassis rails are, water tanks, it very limits us most of the time to where it can go and then it's pretty much just one sort of area it can only go, generally most of the time. But so now we'll have a look um, through the van and see exactly where it can go. So now I'm just going to see whereabouts we can fit the tank and what litre it's generally the most, well the standard one that comes with it is a 10 litre um, tank which we try and fit that most of the time. Sometimes we can't so then we go to a 5 litre tank. Um, all the tanks that we always fit we put them in some sort of guard cover um, to detect it from stones, the uh, elements of the sun etc. Um, so on this one here we're actually very limited on the front where it can go. Um, so, you know, we could put a five litre tank on there, but it's sort of a bit, uh, it's not the uh, strongest place. So, we can put it there, but we will have a look at options now and we'll go to the back of the van because we can put it at the front or the back of a van. So now we'll just go to the back and see if there's a more appropriate room and area to put it on the back. So just having a look now where it can go. And probably on the back here is going to be, I think, the most appropriate place. Um, so what we generally do before fitting the, 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 fitting the tank or doing the installs, we actually check with the customer what side the fill is on, whether it's the front or the back, um, left or right. Um, so obviously when you're filling up your car, providing it's a diesel vehicle, you can fill up your tank uh, for your diesel heater at the same time. So we generally put the filler neck itself on the same side as, as your vehicle that you're towing it with. So this van now, um, yeah, we're going to put the 10 litre tank for the install and we're going to put it on the back here. Okay, so we've just uh, looked under the van to see uh, what layout, um, what room we've got. So up the front of this van, it's got water tanks under the bed, so we can't put the units. We have to uh, drill the uh, hole through the floor for the exhaust, the fuel um, and intake. Um, so there's just no room under this van because of the water tanks. So the only, there's only one place we can fit it, which is under the lounge here. So we've got enough room to actually get it under the lounge here. Um, so that's where it will go. Um, so yeah, we'll start putting the, the heater itself, cut the hole through the floor screw the unit, put the vents, etc. It comes with an LCD screen, um, which we'll put under the cupboard on that side. So we can, depending on who, who wants to be the operator, we can put it on the left hand or the right hand side. So this, we're gonna put it over that side uh, on this install today, is what the, with, um, which is what Simon wanted. And um, yeah, now we'll start um, the, uh, the fun part is drilling holes in his, in his nice new van. Okay, so we've installed the vent work, the unit's in. Um, so now what we're going to do is put a uh, kill switch in the system and we're going to drill uh, and, and mount it. Um, so with all the diesel heaters that we install, we always put a kill switch on it so you can turn the power off. So when you're not using it six months of the year um, in the summer or uh, even while you're away, if you're not, you're not using it, you can always turn the kill switch off, which kills the power to the whole unit. So there's no power to the unit, the screens don't light up and use memory power, etc. Um, so that's why we always put a, a, an owner override, a kill, kill switch in the system for diesel heaters. Um, so I'm going to do that now. Okay, so now what we're going to do is go under the van and start doing the work under the van. So we're going to do the exhaust system, the intake for the exhaust system. We're going to do the fuel pump and fuel lines all underneath the van now to the heater. Um, so I'm going to go underneath and, and start doing all that. So I've run the exhaust pipe all underneath um, and now I've uh, cut it to, uh, to length. Just little little finishing touches when we do the installs. We you know we like to do uh, finish it off. So we actually put a, a nice little uh, ferrule on the end of the exhaust so you can't cut yourself. A lot of people they don't have anything like that. So we've come up with this idea and yeah, just to neaten the job up and make it all nice and safe.
fuel pumps in and connected to the actual heater. Now I'm going to actually connect the fuel line from the tank to the heater. Okay, exhaust system's all done, the uh, fuel lines are all done and all connected, so uh, the next step is to uh, do all the wiring um, to the unit, so I'm going to, um, with all the heaters we install, we do directly to the battery, um, so uh, it doesn't actually work through the um, isolators in the van, so if you do turn the van off accidentally while the heater's running, the heater will still run. Still goes through your shunts and, and, and management systems, but it just goes just a yeah, battery feed, which it, it can um, turn off on the screen, the unit, or on the kill switch. So now do all the 12 volt wiring. So now we're going to do the LCD screen, the on and off switch uh, to the diesel heater. Um, also, these ones come with a remote as well, so you can turn it on and off on the screen or with a remote. Um, so we can generally put these um, pretty much anywhere in the van. Uh, most of the times we generally put it on the uh, bed by the bed so you can actually see it uh, while you're in bed or turn it on and off in the mornings or, or night when you go to bed. Uh, so you can put it on the left hand or, or right hand depending on who, who, who's in control of it is where we put it. So this one uh, we're going to put on the, on the uh, left hand side just under the cupboard door is where we're going to put the uh, LCD screen in, in this installment. Okay so the unit's been put installed in the van, the fuel pump, the fuel tank um, has been installed. The actual screen has been um, fitted and the cable, so all the cabling and everything has run to uh, to the unit now. So now I've just got to finish off the actual the wiring to the unit, which I'll do now. So the wiring's all done inside, the kill switch is all in, the unit's all mounted. So it's just now a matter of we uh, we put a checker plate a cover over the unit just to protect it. So you can still put some stuff in there, um, and it just will protect the unit and the ductwork. So it's just a matter of doing this. Um, and then we've got one, the last connection at the battery, and then we'll be ready to uh, fill in and start testing the system. Okay, so now we're doing the uh, last connection, which is connecting it to the batteries. So we're gonna give it its 12 volt um, to the unit. Uh, there's an inline fuse to the diesel heater, so if there's any problems with the wiring, the heater, it would always, uh, the fuse itself would blow out. So just do the last connections now. So we're at the, uh, the fun part now to uh, test to make sure it all works. So we've obviously installed the unit, the wiring, and mounted the uh, tank on the back. We put diesel in, so it's all ready for a test. Um, so what we do is we will turn the kill switch on, which we should just locate it down here. So now we've actually put power to the actual unit. We come over to the screen. And the screen is uh, all lit up and ready to go. So it's just a matter of pressing the center button. On, and now, it's, now it will start working. So all done, it's all been primed, the unit's on, it also has a, a remote so you can obviously turn on and off, up and down on the actual screen or you can do the same from the remote if you're sitting at the lounge, um, you want to turn it up or down or off so you can do that with the remote um, sitting anywhere in the van. Once you've turned on, we recommend that you turn on and have it flat out to start off with, a couple of minutes, five, ten minutes depending on, once it gets to temperature or, you, or you're, it's warm enough, switch it down to a lower temperature and just let it tick away. When you do go to turn off, the, the opposite, um, that you uh, turn it up to flat out speed, let it run and burn off the carbon uh, and then shut the unit down by turning it off on the screen. Once it is completely utterly um, shut down itself from turning off the screen and the fan and everything has stopped, then you can turn the kill switch off and the system is all done. So that's our install, um, all done with the 5 kilowatt performance diesel heater.